In this demonstration, you'll learn how to set up and post-process a transient blade analysis for a hot streak migration flow problem on an Aachen turbine to effectively model conjugate heat transfer and determine the rotor's temperature distribution. At this point, I have set the physics, analysis, and solver controls for this transient blade row problem. I'll rename the default domain which describes the turbine blade's location, material, rotating speed, passage, initial temperature, and timescale factor. Due to a large disparity in timescales between fluid convection and solid diffusion, the transient modeling of a conjugate heat transfer problem is impractical without special numerical treatment. This is because it can take many time steps for the temperature distribution in the solid to reach a steady state relative to the other variables. In CFX, the solid thermal response can be altered by applying a large timescale factor to the solid so that the solid temperature can converge to a steady state in a reasonable number of time steps. With my solid domain defined, I can add a domain interface between the rotor 1 fluid flow domain and the solid rotor. The heat transfer between the fluid and solid will occur at this interface. Now, the case is ready for submission to the solver. I'll initialize the problem using a solution file from a steady state simulation run on the same geometry with a similar case. A solution has been found, which I'll transfer to CFD Post for post processing. I'll create a slice plane in order to visually examine the temperature in the solid blade domain. Next, I'll use the time step selector to look at the initial time step of this simulation. As a result of increasing the time scale factor of the solid, the temperature at any given point in the solid will non physically fluctuate slightly about an average value. Therefore, in the solid, we should ignore the instantaneous temperature value and use the time average temperature instead. I'll plot the time average temperature on a contour map. I can access the time average temperature under the transient statistics section in the variable selector. Notice how the temperature distribution changes throughout the blade's interior. The temperature of the blade's surface can be visualized by changing the plot's location to the conjugate heat transfer surface. The temperature distribution of the solid rotor has reached a steady state, but the fluid's instantaneous temperature demonstrates transient behavior. To describe the fluid's temperature, I'll create a turbo surface called Span 50 and then apply data instancing to the Rotor 1 and Stator 1 domains. This model has 36 stator blades and 42 rotor blades. I'll enable the visibility of the stator and rotor geometry to provide greater clarity when observing the fluid's behavior. Data instancing derives solution variables on an expanded domain. This makes the plot visible with the entire geometry rendered. Next, I'll insert a temperature contour map describing the fluid's instantaneous temperature distribution across span 50. Now, I'll use the time step selector to change the time step interval to prepare for animation capture. The keyframes method will be used to produce this animation and it will capture the first 70 time steps of the simulation corresponding to one complete blade passing period. From this animation, you can see the fluid's temperature variations and hot streak migrations within a single period. 
This concludes this demonstration showing how to analyze and post-process a transient blade row problem with conjugate heat transfer.